Okay, <laughs> it's Thanksgiving Eve. You're a hot mess. You, I got cream and mushroom soup in my hair. Uh, I think I got some flour on my face. Just got the last casserole, homemade casserole in the fridge and you get that phone call. We don't have any place to go. Can we come to your house for Thanksgiving? And naturally, you say, you're always welcome at our house for Thanksgiving. So, now we gotta dust ourselves off, put on our thinking cap, and what are we gonna do? Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping in today. Today is all about pies, people. You can't see this pie, it's a surprise. <laughs> But I can tell you this, it's delicious. Okay, so today we are in a collaboration called Thanksgiving Pies 2023. It is put on by Carrie at my table of three. She's going to have a playlist over there on her channel. It's going to run from November 1st to, the no to November 17th. So, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be chalked, packed full of pie recipes. And in plenty of time for you to make a grocery list, and get to the grocery store before the mad rush. Or, my pie today, you're probably going to have every single one of these ingredients in your cabinet. So, you know mad rush, even if it's like the night before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Eve, okay? So, watch the videos, get your grocery list together, Make sure you make a comment on the video because on November 19th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Carrie is going to do a giveaway on her channel. Some of the prizes are going to be through video comments and some are going to be uh, through door prizes. So you want to make sure and get in on that. Make sure you're eligible for it. Uh, there's going to be some aprons, table runners, some pastry brushes some pastry uh, sets. So there's gonna be a bunch of great stuff. You're gonna wanna get in on this for sure. Okay, mine is very easy. Uh, I want to appeal, I'm trying to appeal to the baker who doesn't want to have to do a lot and then also can appeal to the masses. So the children, will love it. The adults will love it because you're going to jazz it up a little bit. What we are doing today is an applesauce pie with a crumble topping. So let's get going on this super easy crowd pleasing pie. We're going to start with a crumble. Let's melt one third cup of butter. In a small bowl, we are going to put one cup of all purpose flour, one third cup of brown sugar, and we're just going to mix this together. When the butter gets melted, not scalding hot, but melted, we're going to pour it in and start making, crunching it up a little bit together and making a crumble for the top of our pie. I'm going to take our crumble, it looks wonderful. And we're going to set this to the side. In a large bowl, we're going to slightly whisk two eggs. Ah. Preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We have one stick of butter in here melted. We got another bowl. In this bowl, we are going to mix one cup of sugar, 
two tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. We're going to add to that one teaspoon, ah, if I can get this correctly, <laughs> one teaspoon of nutmeg. So, let me get something, uh, I have a spoon, here we go, and we'll get this kind of mixed up a little bit here. And this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add it to the eggs and stir that all really good. Okay. And we're going to get this mixed just slightly until everything is blended. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The sugar is in with the eggs, the sugar mixture. Okay, now we move on to the next step. Applesauce. Where's the applesauce? <laughs> ah, found it. Perfect. All right. For one stick of butter. spatula here. One cup of homemade applesauce. You can also use store-bought applesauce if you'd like. Okay, we're going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. And the last thing we're going to add in here is la vencedora, one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're going to mix this up. We're going to mix this gently. You don't want to put too much air in it. Just mix it until you can see that everything is combined. Everything is coming together nicely. We're going to put it in a nine inch prepared pie shell. And I think my oven is just about preheated and ready. Yep, that's good. pour this into our pie shell. And this is not a deep dish pie shell, this is just a regular. Okay, and we're going to take our crumble topping, and some of it's going to sink, but we are going to sprinkle it over the top to jazz up this applesauce pie. I just dropped some on the floor. <laughs> supposed to be going in the pie. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. This is going to get me out of a jam. Get my sheet pan and we will 
pop this in the oven and I'll be back with you in 45 minutes to show you this beautiful pie. All right, guys, there you go. Isn't she a beauty? Oh my goodness, this pie, oh, it smells amazing. I know it's all that nutmeg in there and that homemade applesauce too. That makes it great. And the brown sugar's not so bad either. I mean, it's all good, okay? It all comes together very good. Came together so easy. And these are all things that you would have in your cabinet in a pinch. If somebody called and said, hey, can we come to your house for Thanksgiving? We don't have any place to go. And you, of course you're gonna say, yes, you are always welcome at our house. Throw together one of these pies, super quick, super easy, and it is delicious. All right, I'm gonna let this continue to cool and then I'm gonna cut a slice of it a little bit later. But hope you guys go check out Carrie at My Table of Three. Uh, she'll have a playlist again over on her channel and you're gonna get some great pie ideas. Um, just to all of the great exotic pies down to a very simple, basic, last minute, what am I gonna do kind of pie? Cause I don't have enough desserts. Let me throw something together. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for us here today at Not For Nothing Homestead. Take care of you and yours. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video.